In this video, we're going to focus on the padding in Chart.js and not specifically on the padding on the canvas, but more inside the canvas. So if I open up the developer tab and you can see here that we have really adjusted here some of the padding items because you can see the canvas is still here on a fixed height and width, but you can see here that there is some space between. And this is padding not outside of the canvas, which we do with normal CSS, but we were doing, we will be doing it in specifically in charge.js commands this is essential especially if you experience your tooltips being cut off or clipped off because they are maybe too big or too small for some reason so let's start and explore how to do this in this video we're going to focus on how to add padding in charge.js adding padding charge.js can be quite a troublesome sometimes especially if you notice your tooltips are being cut off and then you try to adjust it but if you would put in in the canvas a padding that would be a struggle or it doesn't work as you desire it to work so let's start and explore how to do this so first of all to do this make sure you have the default code that i'm going to use as well you can go to chartgs3.com and you just go to getting started link here and then you can find here below the code just copy and paste this code this code is already set with all the blocks and everything what is necessary and if you want to watch more just check out this video that covers exactly why i'm doing this part here all right so once i have this here i'll save this i'll move the title here all right save that and refresh there you are so now we have this however if you would say let's open up our developer tab here and look at this you can see here the canvas right now has a pixel of 700 by 350 50 meaning 700 is the width, 350 is the height. And imagine we want to put in a pixel, we want to put in the pixel, in a, or sorry, we want to put in some padding here between, you would, might you might say, well, I will just put in padding here. We'll just say in here, they can say then, we just grab the ID name, and then we say ID, I say padding, let me say here 20 pixels, for example. If I save this now, you can see we have a padding right now, but there's a problem in here. And the reason is this, the moment you have a tooltip and that tooltip will stick out for some reason above or to the left or here to the right. In that case, you'll still know to the cutoff. So, so since let's be clear here, the padding has not really adjusted anything here. Basically it has, because this is what we call a, if I'm not mistaken, a border box. Let me double check here. Box sizing border box. We can say here, let's search box sizing. The X. There you are, border box. So what does that mean? Well, if you're familiar with CSS, it would mean that it would just maintain the shape here. Basically, the 700 in width and the 350 in height will be maintained, meaning that they just make the or compress or shrink the canvas itself just to make it fit which is good because this is a very desirable element you want to have box sizing border box is a default setting usually you want to put because by default it's set on content con content box but this has an issue here is because you want to push basically not the space here between because the canvas has just been shrink so that means that the tooltip will not work here. But what if you want to have some space here around it? You want to have padding or basically in the canvas itself. For that, we need to go here to Charge.js. And right now, Charge.js is in the latest one is 3.5.0. This is the latest one as of now. And in here, they have a basic configuration for layout. So if I scroll down here, you'll find here somewhere layout. And in here, it's basically the options dot layout and you can set here the padding and this will be the padding to add inside the chart because the other padding what we have right now is just basically outside of the canvas which is not what we want we want to be inside the canvas which is also a chart so all we do here is in the options you can put in here after the skills comma remember because it needs to be in the options so in the options we say here layout and in here we can say padding and then we can just select how many pixels we want by default probably it's set on zero so you can see here it's a number scriptable yes if ever needed but we can put in here any number let's say you're 20 pixels 
Oh, no. No need for things, just this needs to be a uh, number, I guess, 90 default zero. So no pixels here. There's no CSS, remember. And then if I refresh now, you can see the chart has shrink even more. But this time, the canvas itself has not been adjusted. That would mean that here now there's more space between just to get the tooltips working. This is very important, especially if you know that your tooltips are being clipped off. So if I go back here, I can remove this one now. And let's say I will put this here instead of 20, I'll make it 40. And I save this. I refresh, you can see basically nothing happens from a viewer's point of view. But from a developer, from the code base, you see that we have done a significant difference. So this is basically how you can play around to add padding in your chart in Chart.js. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.